Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is a Illustrator one um, regarding pixel-based artwork, so generally referred to as sprites or anytime you're trying to translate sort of a pixel design into Illustrator, uh, it can become kind of frustrating. So I'm just going to look at some uh, iconic sprites here so that we can all tell what we're looking at, but here's Mario. Um, and I'm going to drop him in Karibo's shoe here into Illustrator. And if you don't want to use this as raster data, you might be inclined to do something like Live Trace to convert it to, wow, really bad settings, to convert it to vector data. Uh, the problem is when you do that, regardless of how much like options you put in here to like really hone in the number of paths, um, or cut down on noise. All this sort of stuff produces a very unrefined result, especially considering you're dealing originally with pixel data. Uh, so that doesn't really work. And people might also be inclined to just give up and make some sort of grid where you just pop open your grid, shrink it down really small, and maybe you just start drawing it pixel by pixel um, to redo the original artwork. While that would be possible, um, I'm here to show you that there's a much easier way. So if you're ever dealing with anything that's very pixel specific and you want to translate that into vector data, um, you just need two things. The first is to know what the original dimensions are. So I happen to know that this one is 16 by 28. I can just check in Photoshop. Um, under image size, you can see here 16 by 28. Uh, and what you have to do is drop it into Illustrator, pop over to your object menu and pick rasterize. Um, and this seems weird because it's already a raster object, but you have to basically let Illustrator know you want it rasterized within Illustrator. So I'm going to leave it as RGB. And then instead of picking a uh, high resolution like 300, which can produce some fuzziness like this, given it's such a tiny object to begin with, I'm going to rasterize it, but pick other and type in like something high, like maybe we'll say 900 um, and just hit OK. So now I've got this rasterized into Illustrator. And so once it's rasterized, this object uh, mosaic option becomes available underneath the object menu. When you pick that, um, it's going to try to create an object mosaic and it's telling you the current size of the graphic is 16 by 28. The new size will be 16 by 28 and the number of tiles I want to use uh, is 16 by 28. So usually if you hit use ratio, it'll pop those numbers in there. Uh, but when you do that, you'll see that it generates a pixel specific grid, basically in Illustrator, that's a one-to-one -one copy of all the exact pixels that you were using. And then you're able to just ungroup it, delete the ones you don't want. Uh, you can easily modify and move things. Feel free to take these and you know, do some scaling if you want to. This is one by one, obviously. Um, but it's just a really quick way to do pixel specific illustrations in Illustrator without necessarily having to worry about redrawing each one or snapping to a grid if you're more used to drawing them in Photoshop to begin with and then want to have them rasterized or taken from rasterized to vector later. So that's the tip. I hope you found it useful. If you like these types of tutorials, you can hop on over to my channel to subscribe for more. Uh, and as always, if you have questions, just leave them for me down in the comments. See you next time.